Dun 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 It's sealed pool practice time and we're gonna open six packs of either Magic the Gathering or Flesh and Blood uh, TCG and we're gonna try to make our best uh, deck out of those six packs and you can go ahead and tell me uh, what kind of mistakes I made or which cards you might have played out of the pool instead. It's Leah here and uh being that it's so close to the holiday season, I just haven't been ordering singles, but I have these boxes of uh, Uprising lying around still, so I thought maybe I'd do a couple sealed pool practices before the holiday is completely upon us and everybody's too busy to do anything anyways. Just haven't done one in a bit. The new set, Dynasty, that's out. That's not really for sealed or draft. It's just supplemental, so. I'll crack one of these. And five, six. Let's see what I can build. I haven't done a uprising in a little bit as a sealed. Every time I did do it in an actual event, I always built a wizard because I was practicing for the for a team sealed event. Nothing particularly exciting to kick us off. Plenty of ninja cards, though. Well, there went a bunch of not ninja cards. Two packs left.
one majestic out of all of these so far. Ninja card. Bipox is a cool card. Other than taking a closer look at our wizard stuff, I feel like this is going to be a ninja style deck. Alrighty, we've got <clears throat> four generic actions, only one with rupture on it. I actually don't want too many of those in a sealed, though. Ooh. This, however, is a good Icelander pool. I didn't give this enough credit while opening. Except for the single piece of equipment. Well, I don't know what else I would have done about that. We have two good dragons. This might actually be a hard pool to build. Peloria is a good dragon, and Uragi is a pretty good dragon. I'm not too sure about the rest of that. So if there's not enough natural, go again. Like, so we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven cards that will have go again by themselves. Maybe this isn't quite the ninja pool we want it to be. Maybe it's actually better served as a wizard pool. We can put Vipox into anything. Scar for Scar is also a fun card in Wizard. And Giant Fendel's Fighting Spirit's a fun card in anything. I suppose a yellow Scar for Scar isn't a big problem. Strategic Planning Blue is a decent Wizard card. Maybe this is a wizard deck after. I'll just move some of these out of the way. Go red, red, blue. Well, I didn't check. Do I feel like I have enough 
ice and elemental stuff. Let's sort it that way first. Ice elemental and not either, because fusing is a pretty big deal. Making frostbites is a good big deal. Got to be able to make enough of those. Okay, yeah, I think there's enough ice and elemental wizard cards going on. So there's ice right there. It's three, six, nine, twelve ice cards. Thirteen ice cards. Six that can be fused, but the ice themselves will make frostbite. Most of these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are blue. Three red, three yellow. So that's seven opportunities to make a frostbite. Seems okay. But more importantly, a lot of opportunity to play on our opponent's turn here. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen blues in the pool. Fourteen. Strategic planning is a decent card. Okay, so 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, I really like this as a wizard deck now. Some good big hitting reds. Couple of things that can be used to pop dragons plus a red singe. Good amount of blues. I think this came out as a good wizard pool.